What's going on, everyone? Today we're gonna go over what's in my bag slash my everyday carry, my tech bag 2019. So let's get started. So I've seen a bunch of these videos on YouTube where they have these crazy bags with a bunch of stuff in it. I don't think mine is is as crazy but hopefully I'll give you some ideas maybe you can add something to your bag that you don't have this is the bag itself it's a cocoon bag that I got off Amazon it can fit up to a 15 inch laptop I have everything linked down below uh, as far as the bag and like what's there, what everything is inside from Amazon but it's super slim I think it's probably the slimmest slash lightest bag I've purchased obviously if you look I need to get a new one this thing has worn down. I really didn't take it out like when it's like raining or bad weather. It's kind of it's kind of worn down pretty easily. So I think I'll, I'm gonna upgrade to a different bag next. But this one has done the job as far as being slim and super lightweight. Okay, starting with what's in the bag, we're gonna start with the main compartment. That's gonna be the back. That's where I have my laptop. So we got the zippers on the top. And the laptop is actually, if you can see it, it has like a, a nice little felt, so I don't carry it in a case. The main laptop I'm carrying right now is gonna be the 2016 13 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar. I don't use this really for editing videos. It's only if I'm out at like Starbucks and I need to edit some pictures or if my girlfriend needs to use the laptop. This is what we use. And then the only other thing I really keep in this bag, you can also have spots for like papers or a book i really just have the charger for the macbook pro it's going to be a USB-C charger and that's pretty much what i keep in the back main compartment the front part of the bag this is probably my favorite part because of the cable management i'm going to open it up try to get a little bit closer so you can see it don't worry about the cat here let's see if you can see it let's move the cat out of the way it has like these little straps that hold all everything down in there it makes it look super neat probably my favorite part I'll start from this side. We're gonna have the actual brick that goes in the wall for the USB-C charger. A couple pins that I carry around. Even though I don't really have a notepad, I have pins just in case I need to write something down. The two cables I keep are gonna be a USB cable for the old Seagate hard drive that I have and USB-C to USB-C. I have a, can I help you? A USB-C dongle. That's gonna have like the USB-C, the network port, the HDMI's, the SD card readers in there. And that also hooks up to my desktop where I do a lot of my video editing. This I could probably get rid of. It is a USB-C to USB dongle. I'll keep it just in case this goes bad. I have my AirPods I use as my headset. This is gonna be a one terabyte Samsung T5. Yeah, Samsung T5 SSD hard drive. That is my newest one. That's where I run like all my pictures or videos off of. So it's super quick when editing. I have it formatted so I can read between my Mac and my Windows desktop in case I go back and forth between them. This is, I think I said this already, but I'll go over it again. This is gonna be one terabyte old Seagate hard drive where I just have a whole bunch of old pictures and old files that I can look to. The mouse of choice is gonna be the MX Anywhere mouse by Logitech and I'm gonna pull everything out and I'll go over it a little bit more in depth. So going over everything a little bit more in depth or just adding to it, we have the USB-C charger that goes with the MacBook. I don't even think that was in frame, but we'll go with it. Next up, we have the Logitech MX Anywhere mouse. I have this hooked up to my Mac, a machine at work, and my desktop at home that I can go through. Super light and easy. Next, the AirPods. These are probably some of my favorite headphones. And just because talking on the phone in the car is so difficult if I'm holding the phone up to my ear or if I'm trying to like scream over my Bluetooth in the car. So I use those mainly for talking on the phone. I have a pair of Bose that I use at the house that are like the noise canceling ones. Next, we have a USB-C dongle by Seiteki. It's gonna carry a USB, that is not USB, that is HDMI, so don't believe what I say. Three USB 3.0 ports, a network cable in case I need a little hardwire, 
USB-C port, and an SD card and mini SD card in case you need to download some GoPro footage. After that, we have a couple cables. This is a USB cable for the old hard drive, and this is a USB-C to USB-C cable for the new SD, SSD that I have. Just another little dongle, USB-C to USB, small little dongle that I used to have before this one where I would only have it for like my flash drives or hard drives. Next, this is an older Seagate one terabyte hard drive. I usually just keep files on this one, nothing crazy. My newer drive is going to be the Samsung T5 one terabyte. There was a deal on Amazon where this was like super cheap. I should have got like a two terabyte one, but I just rolled with the one terabyte. Well, that's pretty much all I carry with me in my bag. It's super lightweight, super slim, easy just to throw in the car if I'm running or if I'm on the go. If you have any questions about the bag or what's inside the bag, leave a comment below and I can answer it for you. If you have any ideas that you have, maybe I can add it to my bag. That'd be super cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.